Here is our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight contender tournament semifinal. Ahmad Hadar from Morocco and Manny Mancha from the good old U.S. of A. It'll be Hadar, who's three inches taller, but a slight reach edge to Mancha. And looking at professional experience, you know, Iman is the younger, but does have 20 professional fights, where Mancha's still very new in his kickboxing career with only seven fights. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this contender tournament semifinal is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He's a mixed martial artist trained in Muay Thai, but as a kickboxer, he has a young professional record of five wins with two losses. Four of those five wins coming by knockout. He is undefeated inside the glory ring. He stands six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters, and he weighed in at 206 pounds, 93. 3.5 kilos fighting tonight out of Fresno, California, USA. Please welcome Manny Mancha. His opponent fighting out of the white corner made his debut in Copenhagen at Glory 40. His professional record 19 wins with just one loss, seven of those wins coming by knockout. He stands six feet five inches tall, 1.96 meters, and weighed in at 204 pounds, 92.6 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Morocco, ladies and gentlemen, Imad, the problem child, Adam. And your referee in charge of this contest, John Axwood. Manny Mancha used to weigh 330 pounds, Joe. Started Muay Thai to lose weight, and here he is, a light heavyweight fighting at a huge okay, match. Okay, both fighters, you know the rules? Break is break, stop is stop. Questions? Questions? Manny Mancha, five and two. Says he's a pretty boring guy outside of fighting. A barista at Starbucks and says, I like to eat pizza and drink beer in my spare time. Here we go, three rounds. The winner gets Michael Dute later tonight. Oh, and Mancha, was that a knockdown already? Ahmad Hadar. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. A terrible start for Mancha, but we've seen him in this position before, Joe. He's still got enough power to knock the other guy down. Yeah, he does, and he just keeps coming forward. He's not intimidated to pressure, but he is eating a lot of big power punches. Adar being warm for a punch behind the head. Here comes Mancha forward again. It looks like Mancha was poked in the eye during those punches. Is the technique there for Manny Mancha? The heart's there, the power's there, but what about the technique? Well, it's just Ahmad's doing too much good pressure. He's landing, he keeps landing those high kicks. All of his punches are landing. Break, step back. It's hard for Manny to get anything going. Break. Ahmad Hadar, his debut did not go as planned, but this went off to a rousing start. Not much behind those punches for Manny Mancha. Hadar staying very calm, staying defensive. Seems to have slowed down, gonna be a little bit more patient, try to pick his shots. Hadar was dominating Freddy Camayo early, but then things went wrong in a hurry. Maybe this is what he learned, to stay patient. Right. He's really letting Mancha recover, but just gave him a nice right hook. Mancha with his hands down already. Still coming forward, but the signs are not good for the American. Hands are down. Ahmad Hadar, oh, there's a flying knee. Pushes him out of the ring. Not sure that's gonna be a knockdown. There's a push. And he's really slow getting under the ring. Hadar looks in a completely different class thus far. And this is tournament rules, so one more knockdown and the fight's over. Only two in a round in a tournament format. Manny Mancha, a southpaw. Hadar fights from both stances. I'm 
just shocked it when Mancha throws a, a punch. His hands immediately come down, and the head is wide open for Hadar to, to, look, Hadar to land counter shot after counter shot. It looks like he can be the end here, but Mancha's still trying to throw back. Knee after knee. Mancha's Mancha. cut under the chin. Let's see if he can survive this round. Hadar has landed just about everything he's thrown at Manny Mancha, who looks dazed and confused. Iman Hadar came out really aggressive and scored himself a first knockdown. And it all came from that left hook through a nice inside low kick. Boom, and followed with his left hook. Beautiful kick to punch combination. One of my favorites. This is the push through in the ring, landed a nice solid right hand and came in with that scissor right knee. Not, not sure if he pushed him out, but still a beautifully timed flying knee to the body. Oh yeah, a little, a little push there. The last highlight is that flurry from Hadar. Landed some good knees and you can see some blood on the chest of Mancha. So one of those knees must have clipped right under the chin. Split his chin open. And the doctor having a good look right now at Manny Mancha's chin. Here's they're going to let him continue. But it is code red time for Mancha. What do you tell him? Well, there's, he's got to stay defensive, number one. He has got can't just keep throwing and keeping his hands down. Right. Stay long and move. For Hadar, you would think the instructions would be just keep doing what you're doing. It seems like it's staying calm, and when he's ready, he just puts all his attacking on. Manny did a good job covering up after the kick that time. And as Joe mentioned, one more knockdown for Mancha, and this fight's over. Well, it would be three. Excuse me, two in the same round, three in the fight. There's that left kick that Mancha does really well. It's just Hadar's not giving him the time and the patience to do it. When he's ready, he just comes in with full attack mode. Mancha would love for this to somehow turn into a very ugly brawl. But Hamad keeping his distance wisely. All right. I don't know about that. I think he hurt his I toe for oh, two. Yeah, he yeah, count. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to fight? He says his arm's broken. Maybe his shoulder's out of the it's socket. It's over. Hey, it counts. Manny Mancha with a victory over Ahmad Hadar. A bizarre circumstance for sure, as Hadar said, it's broken. Not too sure where it popped out. But yeah, he had to turn around. And you can't just stop in the middle of a fight like that. Well, Joe, Manny Mancha in the record books will have just knocked out Ahmad Hadar, and now he gets Michael Dute, who's got to be licking his chops downstage, backstage, excuse me. Oh, for sure, and Mancha didn't have much energy left. And it could look like it could have been the way he slipped. He threw a right hand. I'm not sure where we see it. I think it could have been when he overextended his right hand to throw that cross. And all of a sudden, the the shoulder joint must have came right out. See, I think it's when he overthrew that right hand. He tries masking it, because the fall doesn't look like... He did. almost he almost took a knee without taking a knee. Yeah, it's definitely him overthrowing that right cross. A lot of times when you do it, I get that a lot, and it's mostly in my elbow. But I know if you have a weaker shoulder injury or, or you know, a weak shoulder socket, that's easily um, one of the things that can happen. We will make it official when we return here to Amsterdam as Manny Mancha's nine lives continue.
We welcome you back to Amsterdam and a bizarre ending to the fight between Ahmad Hadar and Manny Mancha, a fight that Hadar was absolutely dominating. Yeah, his first round was all Hadar got a 10-8 round. He was just landing everything he was throwing. Good punches, a lot of good knees. This is where he put Mancha through the ropes and we thought the fight was over. But Mancha still did a good job at not giving up. And you see, even though he's taking a lot of shots, he is coming back, he is throwing forward pressure. And that was the end where Hadar must have overthrown that right hand. Well, we're being told from the corner of Ahmad Hadar, at least that's what they told Tim Hughes, is that it was a broken hand by Hadar. Not sure where he broke the hand, but it wasn't a shoulder or an elbow. So yeah. the right hand of Hadar was injured somehow. Yeah, I don't know where it would have happened. One of those kicks, you know, Mancha's got a very vicious left kick, and it is on the right arm of Hadar, so that could easily have been from one of those left kicks of Mancha. Here are the strikes absorbed, and don't let these statistics fool you. Yes, Manny Mancha did land punches, but nowhere near the efficiency or the effectiveness of what Ahmad Hadar was hitting him with. And Ahmad Hadar still looked good and still looked promising, so hopefully the injury isn't too bad and we can see him back quicker. All right, back into the ring we go in Tim Hughes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our referee, John Axwood, steps in and waves this off at 122 of the second round with the white corner unable to continue. Your winner, by technical knockout, and now moving on to the tournament final, Manny Mancha. Well, what's the mentality now for Mancha, Joe? Well, he almost looks like he's a defeated fighter here. He's uh, tired, uh, but he's going to have to go back and really try to gain and regain as much energy as he can sit down try to find some electrolytes in him get him ready to go because he's coming out soon again